Diamonds are forever. Hi everyone, this is AFC RD TV, and welcome to highlights of Peterborough Northern Star against AFC Russian and Diamonds from the Chroma Sport and Trophies UCL Premier Division on Saturday afternoon. PNS were a difficult side for the Diamonds to face last season, losing at the Dog and Duck and then drawing at Chestnut Avenue. So it was important that the Diamonds had a good performance and ideally a good result in this contest. And it was the Diamonds into the lead first on. A shot from Greg Ling deflecting off a defender. Home goalkeeper Dan George couldn't claim the ball cleanly. And it was Faisal Career to knock into the back of an unguided net. Not long after that, Diamonds had real clash a penalty waved away. Greg Ling bustled to the ground in a fair manner by a defender. Before too long, PNS had equalised. Jason Kilbride with a great looping free kick from distance. Matt Finley was nowhere, and that was the equaliser for the home side 1 1. Both sides would continue to press, though. Here, a hooked ball into the area by Harris, and a rare header from Matt Gearing going just over. Before perhaps the main talking point, a strong and robust challenge from Jack Ashton on midfielder Kieran Davis. The referee blew for a foul. Despite the defender winning the ball and then it comes down to your interpretation of the laws. Nowadays it's not so much whether you win the ball, but it's a more modern interpretation of whether the player was out of control. It would appear the referee on this occasion decided that Ashton was indeed out of control in the challenge. Ashton received a straight red, meaning the Diamonds would have to complete the rest of the game with only 10 men. Although to their credit, Diamonds would continue to push in the remainder of the first period. And here, career shot went straight at keeper George. That was the end of the action for the interesting first half. So, at half-time, PNS won, FC Russian and Diamonds won. Diamonds had had to shift their side around to compensate for the lack of Ashton at the back. But they would continue to push on. And here it was Career with nice control and a cross that would bounce back into him before Adam Confuse bustling run to the area was stopped robustly by a defender. And after Diamond's second penalty appeal of the game, this time they were awarded one. The ever-reliable Matt Gearing stepping up, sending George the wrong way to slam the ball into the back of the net for 2-1. And then the Diamonds would get a two-goal cushion after a great half volley from Confu flew into the back of the net. Really the best that the home side could muster was this neat turn and shot from striker Avelino Vieira. But despite having a man less, it was the Diamonds that would continue to push and would have the majority of the chances. Late substitute Tom Lorraine here, almost beating George with that shot. And then even later substitute Jason Turner, nipping forward, beating two defenders despite the falling rain. And tucking a wonderful shot past George to give Diamonds a 4-1 lead. That goal, two minutes into time added on at the end of the contest, meant that at full time it was Peterborough Northern Star 1, FC Russian and Diamonds 4, meaning Diamonds continue their confident start to the 14-15 season. And next up, it's Bedford Town at home in the FA Cup. Well, a comprehensive victory for AFC Russian and Diamonds there. I'm joined by manager Andy Peaks. Andy, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, delighted to be honest. It's a tough place to come with 11 months let alone 10. So, yeah, brilliant to get three points and massive positive. Talk about the uh, sending off, first of all. I was a fair way away from it. What was your view of it? I thought it was harsh, but, again, I was a long way away, so I look at the replays. I found I went to speak to the referee at half-time. He said Jack took the ball, but and the man, he thought that was a sending off. I asked one of the linesmen who was 10 yards away, didn't give it, and he said he, he didn't think it was. So, I don't know. Until we actually look at it, I can't really comment too much. And 10 minutes before that, and until half-time, it looked like it would get a bit niggly. The referee was erratic, which didn't help. Were you worried about that, that we might end up with less than 10? 
Yeah, I was concerned. I'd say I went to speak to the referee at half-time. I didn't feel we were getting a rub of the green, to be honest, at both ends of the field. He obviously sees it differently. I can only see from what I'm saying. I was quite calm, went to see him. Um, and yeah, I, I was concerned because obviously Hendo was close as well. Um, a bit of a tight rope, but it worked out OK in the end. And it started well with a bit of um, neat play and Faisal being Johnny on the spot, popping it in from four inches. Yeah, no, he was in the right place at the right time and I wasn't bothered. As long as we scored, I'm happy. And then PNS equalised and it was cracking for a kick. I was right behind that. It was superb for a kick. Yeah, I mean, we was disappointed with the foul, but again, it probably was a foul. Uh, Finner said he set his wall up and he's dipped it over the wall and in. So if it's a bit of quality, then sometimes you have to say that's what it is. And then second half, we came out and got a penalty almost straight away. Um, Matt Gearing took that away. Do you think that changed the game? It made it easier for us something to hold on to. We said at half time these are the sort of places you're going to come and you need to get points and 10 men was a real test for us. You know, It was obviously up to them but we felt quite confident uh, getting a goal that early makes it even better because it gives you some belief as well, the whole group. So that was massive plus and he took it away really well. And you kept two up front all game. Was that um, your thinking behind that? Yeah, I mean their system allowed us to do that to a degree. I didn't particularly want to invite them on because I think if we invite teams on eventually they get chances and we wanted to ask them questions. I still felt confident we could get some out of the game. And we did that. I think we controlled the game well for the rest of the half. I thought we played really well second half. I thought we played some good stuff. Obviously scored three more goals. Could have had more. Yeah, I thought we played really well second half. Now Adam Confu opened his diamonds account with a cracking shot. He deserved that today. He deserved it. I thought his work rate was fantastic. He was all around the pitch. I thought he looked really good when he came on last Friday and deserved his start today. It would have been a tough one for me. Obviously, Bunt's made it a little bit easier because he wasn't fit to play. Uh, but, yeah, Kong has come in and done exactly what he does. He gets around the pitch, he does that ends, and he does get a few goals. So, yeah, lovely strike. And another super sub, Jason Turner. He's got two goals in about 14 minutes so far. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's desperate for the golden boot this year. He's come close previous seasons. And actually, as we're going on, I said you can still get it in the last five minutes of games, which I don't know if he was too happy with. But he'll be chuffed with his goal. And I think he's starting to come back to the fitness levels and sharpness that we want him to be at. And you expect him to be knocking on your door, asking why he's not starting? He's very realistic, Jason. Him and Kong, he would expect to start the season. I said to the boys of the group, I'm going to pick a team based on pre-season. Them two didn't come up to the standards they, we want them to. And they accept that. He, he knows how football works. His chance will come and he'll get his chance and obviously do well. And uh, any injuries following today? No, not today. we all come through it quite well, which is good. And uh, Sam made a welcome return. You pleased to see him come back and uh, play through the game? Yeah, no, Sam done really well when he came on. As we know, we know what sort of standard Sam set, so that was no surprise. He balanced it out well. He's another one who wants to get back in the team, having to wait his chance for various reasons. But, yeah, he came on and I thought it was excellent, Sam. And you can look towards next week now. It's uh, Cup again, Bedford Town, bit of a local derby. Played him in uh, pre-season. You, uh, what are you expecting from that? Same as always with Bullish teams. Loads of work rate, loads of effort. They'll fight for every ball. He'll fight for every ball on the side. But we've got to say we've got to match teams like we said today for the first 20 minutes and earn the right to play. And then I'll back us against most teams. And ne next week will be no different. So a good test today to have to play with that character against uh, a bit of niggling from their team. Yeah, no, I said to the boys at half time, it's all well and good last week when you're up in the FA Cup and everyone wants the ball, it's 4 1, it's great. Today was a good test at 1 all with 10 men. Then people have to dig deep as a group and see where we're at. And I think it answered a lot of questions the second half today. Probably not the result we'd have got this time last season. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, Dave. We don't, do we? We don't worry That's about it. I'm not, wor great, I'm yeah. not worried about last season. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this season. Yeah. Well, I think we agree it's excellent performance. And uh, look forward to seeing you next week, Andy. Cheers, mate. Always a pleasure. Cheers. Bye. Well, I'm here with uh, AFC Western Diamonds Man of the Match and uh, show real goal scorer Adam Confu. Adam, you enjoy that? Yeah, it's great. Great to get into the team today and get a start, you know. Been waiting, and I'm glad to get my chance today. You know, but I didn't uh, know. and you've been pushing for a place. You did well when you came on, come on Friday. You've been banging Peaks' door down, saying, "Why not playing?" Yeah, well, well, obviously I had a bit of a slow start, but obviously you, you've got to expect that when you come to a new club and that, and f you've got to find your feet. You know, new players, and I think I'm getting there now, and hopefully I can put a few more performances in like that. And uh, we've got a good start with Faisal scoring and they equalised with a nice free kick and it was all a bit normal from then. Then it all went a bit mental, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I don't, it couldn't have went any worse, really, to be fair. But the lads dug in. We all dug in. We got to half-time and we said at half-time, you know, we can do it. We've got a good squad, good team and we all showed 
out there we all showed great spirit, we dug in deep. And the second half started well with uh, Matty Gearing whacking in the penalty. Nice to see that. Yeah, yeah, quality. A bit nervous, but um, Gearing, quality penalty taker. Just placed it nicely. And then you laid down your marker for goal of the season early. Uh, do you score a lot like that? Well, I try to. I try to. That one just it sat up nicely for me and I just I caught it well. It, it, yeah, and hopefully I'll score a few more. Like that. And we saw you playing on the right wing a little bit as well the second half. Is that a, a usual position for you? No, not really. We just we just had to hold hold shape, you know, and I just just a bit of protection for Joe. Just just hold on and just you know what I mean, just break up play and get us going again really. And looking forward to the cup game again next week? Yep, can't wait. Just every game now, just get them going. Let's get the season going, really. Do you know what I mean? Keep it going, keep winning. And then that's it, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, thanks for talking to us, Adam. Um, congratulations on your goal. One we look forward to seeing again. And uh, good luck next week. Bye. Bye.